Hi everyone, it's Ginger from In Sheep's Clothing Yarn Shop in Torrington, Connecticut. And today I am going to share three great summer projects with you. These are kits that are available from Knitting Fever as part of their lockdown relief program. Now this top right here is called the Mendocino Top and this is using the Louisa Harding um, Ghirondola yarn. It's a 200 gram ball of a cotton and acrylic blend with a little bit of viscose. So the viscose gives you that really nice drapey cool feeling that's perfect for a summer top. And actually all these projects are going to be using Louisa Harding yarns today. Now this top here is using a stitch that incorporates knitting and wraps, wrapping and then dropping the, the extra wraps. Now what I did is I have a little swatch here just to show you how to do it. And all you do when you're doing this stitch is you knit the first stitch of your row. And then what you do is you go to knit and instead of just net wrapping white once, you wrap twice. And you can do three times if you want, but you go in, wrap around twice, in, wrap around twice, go in, wrap around twice. Now I'm knitting continental, so if that's throwing you just a little bit, I will throw the yarn. So just again, just wrap the yarn, whoops, wrap the yarn around twice, in, wrap the yarn twice, wrap the yarn twice, it's a very quick stitch as you can see, and you end with knit one. Now in the next row, you have all those extra wraps on your needle. On the next row, you're simply going to knit across. And as you knit across, you'll be dropping those extra wraps that you have. So the first stitch we always knit, and then you just go in, and that extra wrap that you have on the needle, just drop it off. Go in and knit, drop that extra wrap off. And you're going to do this all the way across the row. Just go in, drop that extra wrap off. It just falls right off. And then finish with that last stitch, just to knit. And then you can see here, there we go, those elongated stitches that you want. And then you can do as many garter ridges in between as, you, as you'd like to. Um, it, this is a perfect pattern for making scarves. Um, I have a scarf here that I did, and actually I just happened to have done this in another Louisa Harding yarn, which is called Lyrico, and it's a very pretty ribbon yarn. Again, it's an, a cotton acrylic blend, uh, nice and drapey. Um, this stitch happens to be great if you just have a single ball of yarn that you don't know what you're going to do with, um, when you do the wraps, it makes your yarn go a lot further. So you can really um, get away with doing a, a very, very simple little project with one ball of yarn. So just a good thing to know. Now another project that I don't happen to have the garment for, but I do have the pattern to show you, and it's in a yarn called Marmo and as I said before, Louisa Harding yarn. And this is the pattern, it's just a very simple rectangular wrap. Um, and again, this is done with a wrap stitch, but they're doing a little bit more to it. They're knitting together, uh, knitting stitches together. But a, just a very nice open stitch, light, cool. The yarn is a cotton acrylic blend. This is the Marmo. Very, very pretty, uh, subtle, multicolors. Uh, it's a little bit heavier. This is a worsted weight. This one ha actually happened to be a uh, little bit lighter, like a number three uh, yarn. Uh, but very nice, drapey. Again, nice and cool. Perfect for the summer. Just a nice little wrap. Very, very pretty. So that is Marmo. And then the third project that I have, let me just move you over here so you can see it is this very, very pretty little uh, shawl, shawlette, and it's out of the, Gian, Gian, I can never say this, Giardino yarn, 
very, very pretty. It's like a chainette constructed yarn, so it's very open. Um, well, not very open, but it's it's not as firm a yarn as like a applied yarn. So it'll be a little more open, a little nice cool yarn for you to, to use and to wear. I just think this is this. Now, this is crocheted, um, but it's very, very simple crochet. It's just a combination of double crochets. And that's pretty much all it is, is just double crochets. You start in one corner here. So you start at the bottom, at your, at your point, and then you just keep increasing. Now it happens to have a very, I happen to like a very, very pretty edging. It just kind of self edges itself the way that it's worked. Um, but it's that really great shape. It has a really nice wingspan on it. So it's a good, good size. And actually I had it on earlier and it's just such an easy piece to wear. You just put it on like that and then wrap wrap your tail around and there you go. Very simple, easy to wear, very pretty piece. I happen to, I most of the time I'm knitting, but to me crochet is kind of like having a little bit of dessert. So I've been crocheting up a piece myself. I'm actually making the same colorway, although it looks a little different because of where I started with this. But it's so simple and sometimes it's just fun to have kind of a mindless project that you can just work away really quickly at. Um, so this this will be a, I'll get this project done very, very quickly. But it's so, so pretty. And sometimes it's just really satisfying to have something that you can get done very quickly. So those are my three summer projects uh, for you to consider. You can take a look on the website and see if maybe you might like to do one of these yourself. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.